And this is how to install the Tom Thumb on a 2003 Jetta V6. Uh, it has been taken out. What I like to do here is make a mark. Um, the point is you have to push it on so that it bites in. So we're going to go ahead and take the magic marker. And this is the rear O2. And we're going to make a little mark about a quarter of an inch down here so that we can see how far the Tom Thumb really has uh, pushed on. This is Bob Mann and uh, I'm going to show you how to install the Tom Thumb on the Rero 2 to do its uh, CAD efficiency code test. This is a 2003 Jetta VR6 with a P420 CAD efficiency code. So I've made a little magic marker about a quarter of an inch and this is the Tom Thumb. It's designed to slip on and what you want to do is uh, this baby's a little hot, it just came out, it's smoking um, and push it on so that's pushed on and then you can't pull it off. It's kind of like a Chinese finger. The only way to get it to come off would be to take a pair of pliers or a screwdriver and squeeze it out. So the Tom Thumb's on and this is the uh, Tom Thumb test kit. The Tom Thumb has been installed. Uh, the kit comes with a couple things. It comes with a little brazing rod. Some guys were concerned about it falling off. Uh, if that's the case, you would just clean the metal here really good, hit it with a little butane torch, and put a, just a touch of the brazing rod with flex, and then you wouldn't have to, have to worry about it coming off inside the uh, converter. If it does come off in this converter, it just falls to the back, and that's it. It's never going to go anywhere. It won't rattle anywhere. You leave find a little spot, and that's where it stays. Uh, but this is ready to go in. Uh, the next step is I'm going to show you. We're going to put a little kit comes with a little anti seize and a little bit of furnace cement. The black is the furnace cement. The gray silver is the uh, anti seize to go on the threads. If then, if you want to put a little furnace cement around the outer edges of it, that'll kind of hold bond it and seal it a little bit. Um, it's just extra uh, product to help it make it a little easier for the installation. Here with the Tom Thumb, I'm going to put a little bit of anti seize on the threads. Uh, this, uh, this is, you know, this they do come off a little. These, some of these uh, O2s have been in there for over 100,000 miles, so a little bit of anti seize. You're on, off we go. Uh, I'll put that over here. And as you can see, I've got the heat pad. This thing is hot. I'm going to go up, uh, and we didn't unhook it. So what we're going to do is kind of pre-twist the O2 sensor. Stick it back in its hole and then just crank her in. And now we have the O2 in. I'm going to tighten it up and uh, put the whole car back together. Then we'll rerun the uh, CAT efficiency code test or do a test drive, uh, test cycle test drive. You can look that up. Um, a lot of you guys already have a scanner, so what you'll do is go in. If you have a VADCOM on a Volkswagen or Audi, I highly recommend it. It can just run you through these tests to confirm that the car is ready for, uh, to pass for a sticker. That's about it. Once it's in, we can test it. And we're good. As you can see, she's passed everything, the whole readiness. Uh, only one didn't pass was uh, the um, heater for the O2 sensor because I needed to take it for a little drive, but. Uh, 